Yeah, how's it going, guys? And welcome back to Copper Body. As you can see, my darkening is pretty high up to the 100%. But we were here last at the nurse's office. Infirmary, that's it. I have to uh, find a way to get out of here. I had some concealer in my makeup bag. Maybe I could hide it. Yeah, I was getting all worked up over nothing. It was just a little mark on my face after all. Probably just the result of all the stress. All the stress I've been feeling here. Once things calm down, it will go away for sure. Okay, yeah, um... Mayu was it? She was. She ran away because of the bruise on her face. Since she hit it well, I guess we have to go back to Yoshiki and them. Welcome back. Oh, I see. Um, there's nothing to see here. I. Where we did? Where did we leave them? We left them over here, didn't we? Uh. <laughs> Oh, okay, she's back at the infirmary. She's destined to be splattered. It wouldn't open. And it wasn't like it was locked. Rather, it felt almost as if someone were holding it closed with superhuman, superhuman strength. Superhuman strength. Oh, the hair. Suddenly, I realized why. The door was wrapped multiple times over with thin black threads. How I had not noticed these a moment ago. I looked at it for a bit closely and concluded without question that that's exactly what it was. I felt an unpleasant heat radiating all along my back muscle, across my entire spine. I was being watched. There was some sort of moist, look warm presence in the room with me, and slowly but surely I could sense it moving. I was too scared to turn around. Oh. oh. It's Sachiko. It was a little girl wearing a red dress. Probably a first or a second grader. Her skin was pale as pottery, contrasting with the liquor like hair, and she looked somehow familiar. Sachiko! Yes, you are correct. First, anyway. If I'd started to cry, I wasn't aware, but considering what I was going through, it wouldn't have been surprising in any way. I wondered just how much I cried since getting sealed up in this godforsaken place, probably more than I'd ever cried before in my entire life. But these aren't tears. Were tears, were they? It was. Was it blood then? Did these children do something to me? Sure enough, I reached up and touched my face, and my finger came in contact with something sticky. Something sticky and red. <laughs> Sachiko's answer was cold and disinterested, and came accompanied with a crooked, fry smile. She was just a child, yet one glance from her made every hair in my body standing on end. 
鏡で見てみたらどう少しだけ待っててあげる。サチコスフェイスサムホンメイクミフィーラスディスディマイトビトゥーサイズオフェー。ワンジェントルワンナット。But regardless of which I was dealing with here, I wasn't about to go against her recommendation. I was legitimately a little bit curious of myself. <laughs> legitimately. Look at the s i m i t a t So I took out my compact, opened it, and. Ta da! <laughs> the bruise I concealed with makeup and had sprung back to its surface once again. Though it could hardly be called a bruise anymore. More like a scar. My skin had literally split open from the inside and blood was beginning to seep out through the pinkest fissure. Bead by bead. Um. <laughs> She dropped her compact. <laughs> だけど残念お前はそのお腹の切れ字の通りに散って死ぬのはもう決まっているんだよああ、決勝はそのまま…あ、やっ、いつ、スタートングパンチーふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふ At this point, I completely lost my ability to even to think or, or reason. I was a goner, and I knew it. She's bleeding. <laughs> oh no! Gonna open up her stomach and play with her insides. Yeah, I was a gunner. I couldn't fight it. Somewhere deep in the pit of my soul, I knew there was no way out. This unimaginably cruel fate was predestined. I couldn't escape. Oh, sure, I tried to run. I scrammed and resisted with every last bit of my strength I had, but fate had me by the ankle, and it wasn't about to let go. If only I could force myself to lose consciousness, maybe I could avoid the unbearable agony that I knew was coming. But sadly, I wasn't that strong willed. Uh oh, yeah. I could feel the hands of the children all over my body, coming in virtual every direction, and they were really digging. Uh. Yeah, the, the boy has his priorities, t h i n g Priority. Pri. <laughs> Well, the boy knows where he's going for first. Look at where his hand is. That's her in the whole chapter, and she dies. Shigeni! Konai, Konai! Shigeni nante! Kia shinoi n d a y o I was seized with a pain unlike anything I'd ever even imagined possible before. I couldn't talk, couldn't move, couldn't even think. I felt like my head was going to explode under the pressure of the millions of nerves that all telling me in my brain just how much every part of my body hurt. And it didn't stop. Every moment it grew worse and worse. Then I began to drift away. <laughs> その辺の廊下にでも飾っておこうか、この標本
<笑>学校がどんどん賑やかになっていくなぁ。サチコスボイスサウンドライクイワスファーエンドディスタンス。イワスデンダーアイリアライスディアグニーアフビンフィーリングハッチェンジー。イワスノーロングペイン。バッチルイディナーハッティニモー。イワスジェスコード。サコードアイコンディヴンフィーマイバディ。すごく寒いよ。しげに。もう、指一本動かない。私が死んで、惨めな死体になっても、嫌いにならないでくれる。しげに。私ね。My final wish is that she could be the one to find my body. As long as it's not too revolting to look at, anyway. I want him to think I'm pretty. I miss him. She bro. <laughs> Somewhat, somehow in my. Oh. Yosei. An alternate universe tale. Number two, clear! Number three, encounter chapter is now playable. Yuichi Nakamura, Yuka Namri, Soulful Testimonies. Unlocked in bonus menu. Save system data? Yes. Oh, so we completed.、Uh, chapter two with the death of Mayu.、Mm, should I do the testimonies as a bonus、uh, chapter part when I complete the game? Let's see here. Ending list. Well, I got the crew. <laughs> two red stars. Damn, I got two wrong ends, didn't I? I don't remember though. But I got the, the correct end though. Even though it has multiple wrong ends. <laughs> So f- Oh! I can create- Oh, okay. Oh! We got Yuichi Nakamura. We got Yuka Nanri. Oh, so many voices. I guess I gotta do this as bonuses when I complete the game. Extra parts. If anyone is interested in it. Encounter! Who are we gonna play as this time? Better not be Morishige! Shake's fist. Satoshi! Hmm? This is 23. So, is it 33? This really wasn't my day. I knocked over my alarm clock this morning and of course it stopped working. Okay. Before the event occurred, the real last pork sandwich sold out right before my eyes during lunch. And I was roped into a favor when I happened upon my homeroom teacher, Mr. Yamasaki, long after the school day had ended. <sighs> so now, like it or not, I was on my way to deliver some notes to Miss Yui, our homeroom te teacher assistant, who was out sick with a cold. あとでゆかに謝らないとな。今日は早く帰って、ゆかの買い物に付き合ってやる予定だったし。天神五番地二十三の十一。ここか。これが六番地。33の77とかじゃなければだけど I stopped and compared the memo in my hand with the apartment building in front of me It was two stories tall and looked a little on the shabby side probably about 20 years old It didn't seem very solid nor was it particularly particularly stylish or chic It was completely unremarkable structure in every way ここの207号室 
Well, try your luck. I was really getting fed up with this handwriting, and from the teacher, no less. In any case, it seemed certain that the apartment was on the second floor, so I trudged up the startlingly narrow, steep stairs. The metal staircase was thoroughly blotched with patches of rust. Why would someone live in such a run-down apartment building? I felt a little sorry for her, but in a way, this place kind of fit her personality. With that thought in mind, it turned my attention toward toward apartment 201. The door, the door plate for the room nearest the stairs had a name I didn't recognize. Scribbled on it. Passing room 201, I continued down the narrow walkway toward the end. Wandering alone around an apartment building I'd never been to before made me feel kind of nervous. It wasn't like I was doing anything wrong, but my back still tensed up as I manu maneuvered around piled up strollers, plastic toys, and bundles of newspapers. And then finally I arrived at the last door. Kokoda! Bingo! This is it. I breathe a sigh of relief. The door plate for apartment 207 read Shishiro. For an adult's handwriting especially, the letters were rounded and overly cutesy. This was Miss Yui's place, alright. I leaned in the and read something written in small script under the corner of the door plate. Beware of cat. Oh well, I shouldn't mind. Huh? What? <laughs> oh, this is a big cat. So how exactly does one beware of a house cat? Beware a house cat. Is it even possible for a house cat to be threatening? At any rate, I'm confirmed beyond a shadow of doubt that that was my shishu there. So my errand was nearing its end. So he said he was busy with beating, though I really needed one of his students to help him out. But was it really okay to entrust a school student in confidential class notes? Read them! My mind kept drifting from one question to another, and I become accurately aware of the inherent value of these notes I held in my bag. But, tempting as it was, I couldn't bring myself to look at them. Mr. Yamasaki put his faith in me after all, and I was stronger than that. I couldn't let this get the best of me. At any rate, I was here. I should have just been able to drop off the notes and be on my way. Putting all my doubts and misgiving aside, I rang the doorbell. Then I waited, and waited, and waited some more. But there was nothing to answer. It did. Don't question yourself. Yui sensei! I rang the bell again and also tried calling out. Quickly, bash the door open! She has collapsed inside! No, she collapsed! <laughs> Break the door open! When we'd heard that Miss Yui was, was staying home sick today, we were all pretty disappointed. That's why part of me was actually a little happy that I was asked to run these over to her. I figured I'd be able to check in, see how she was doing and let everyone at school know that she was feeling better. She was probably sleeping or out the door, out at the doctor's or something. But what if you were hurt? I tried opening the mail slot and peeking in. Yes, just what I thought. <laughs> I thought maybe I could get a glimpse of the room inside. It felt kind of wrong peeking into someone's house without their permission. But I was legit, legit, 
worried about your mysterious health, so my conscience was clear on this one. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, Nico. It's a cute cat! A well groomed cat was facing the door and staring back at me. Look at a cat! With its head tilted slightly on the side, it let out an adorable meow. This must be the cat I was instructed to beware. And since Miss Hughes was always going up and on and on about her little body, I was pretty sure I remembered his name. Oh yeah, Monet. Beware its cuteness! そうだ、モネちゃんだ。へえ、綺麗な猫だな。It's a great cat. Miss Yui talked about her cat a lot in class, so pretty much the whole school had heard of him. She even had some tins of cat food hidden on the shelf in the classroom, probably because she brought too much and had no room for them in her apartment. Mone, Mone, Sensei wa iru ka? My shoulders sank. I felt defeated. What the hell was I doing? I closed the mail slot and stood back up. Lost in the speculation, I placed my hand on the doorknob, and with a quick twist, it turned in and pushed on the door, opening it easily. Oh, the can ran out. Oh, okay. So you went inside and closed the door. Monet's whiskers twitched as I called out to him from the entranceway. What? What? Monet Yes, I understand, cat. <laughs> Here I was talking to a cat. Was this what I would become? I was feeling pretty uneasy. Not only had I peeped into someone's house, home, I walked in without a second thought. Moreover, this was where Miss Yui lived. Alone in other words, a woman's apartment. No matter how many times I reminded myself that I was here on an errand, I couldn't help feeling that I was not, not only crossing a line, but leaped over it. Yui-sensei! Do you think something will happen? Well, well, this is a high school. Sorry. Okay, hey, we're called at 20 minutes or a bit more. I gotta end here, guys. I'm gonna leave you guys with a high five. <laughs> Another cover, for Zemis. Hello, sir. Am I a take your author? We have um, a jukebox. I actually don't know what we serve here. Uh, it's a sort of of art view. You will be interested in that. I have no shit. Okay, let's keep.